Синю. Welcome back to Zena IMS Vlogs. So, today's day, today's day, today's the day to change the caliper, the, the, the caliper from the passenger side, as y'all can see. So, we got our tools ready. Well, sort of. We still, you know, sort of, but we got our tools ready. So, you guys, we're gonna change that and then we're gonna put braking fluid. We're gonna pump the brakes, I guess, take it out. I guess but you guys bleed the brakes bleed the brakes there you go so you guys we are gonna explain what we're gonna do so you guys can know and mind you guys we're not professionals yet but you know what I don't know we're gonna learn you know I'm gonna learn cuz you guys did not know I'm barely learning about the car scene so it's pretty fun. I'm not saying that I know everything. I'm learning, you guys. You know, a girl, a girl has to learn. Because, you can see, I have a race car, you know? What's the point of having a race car if you don't know shit about it? So, let's get to it, you guys. Let's go. Okay, you guys, I guess to take off the fuel line, but it's a size 14. 16. It says 14. Was well, it 14? It's a 14. Okay. Okay, size 14. Look 
Look at that, it's already leaking. This caliper was boo boo. So you just want to put that aside. While she's getting a towel, you gotta use a 17. You gotta, I don't know if you guys can, you guys won't be able to see, but there's like two bolts back here. Legit two bolts. Big bolts. That's holding the whole caliper. Hold on. So here's one bolt, and then the other one should be uh, up here. It's right here. So there's one down here, and there's the other one down up here. So you always want to take the fuel line off first. This is the first thing we did. Make sure you guys have like a rag or something because it's going to be leaking. I but mean, we're in the we're like, in the grass. But sorry, Mother Nature. But, anyways. The reason why we say take this off, because if you take the whole caliper off, and if if it falls, you never know if it falls, it's gonna take your fuel line. If it cuts it or something, you never know. It comes off. It's really wiggling. There you go, voila. This is off. Uh, caliper should slide off. There you go. Do you have to go slow when you take it off? Yeah, you do. Why? Because you never know if other things might fall off of a bit. This is already, see look, if we had already rotors, look, take these off. As soon as you take it off, your rotor comes off too as well. Rotors, but we don't have rotors for the CRX yet. Okay, so, anyways, so that's the caliper. Yeah, are these the brake pads? Yeah, let's go and check them out. No. 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 No, it's not. No. Oh. 
So you put the two bolts back in. Obviously you put the caliper on, then you put the two bolts in the back, which was 72 millimeter. So once you have this on, these two bolts on, this bolt right here, it's in here. You unscrew it, you take it off, right? Make sure this doesn't go like in dirt or anything like that. And this thing flips up. Once this, this thing's up, you put your pads right here. Put your pads and you lock and load, baby. Mokuba put the one in the back. Um, he was just showing me how to do it. So, I guess there's like a gap, I guess, right here. Basically, just slide it in like that. Slide in like the DMs. Yeah, slide in. How does that go? The song? Huh? The song? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. But that's how you do it. These clips, he was putting them on. Um, I don't know, but I think this is pretty cool. Like, I learned something new, you know? But later on, I might change all four of them. And then later on, I'll get new rotors. Oh, now I gotta get this. Nice and snugged in in there. The bolt. Yeah, that's the bolt. Is it going in? Now you have to wiggle it that way. Going in? Yeah. Yay. CRX has new calipers. You guys, <laughs> is that the our old spider web from Trunk or Tree Me? <laughs> oh, don't mind that, you guys. We have to take um, um, the size for the nut. Okay, hold on. One washer goes outside, and the other one goes inside. Okay, continuing the vlog. Now she's putting back the fuel line. I use, for this ball, I use Hang on. 11. Oh, 11. What's up? Hey, can you pass me on my phone too? Why? Uh. There we go. It's going in. All right, all right, Gucci. So now we'll tie this one up later. But now the next thing is to bleed the brakes because the old caliper, it broke and it leaked all the fluids out. Right, Sayla? Yep. All right, good job. I'll show you what we were talking about, you guys. There's no brake fluid. That means this car is dangerous. We could crash. So, it's time to have some brake fluid. But, we gotta get our a little equipment, too. So what you have to do, just untying that a little bit. There you go, that's enough. Should be good. Okay, now. 
Put that right there. No, no, you don't have to open all the way. Let me see. Hold this. Okay, so you put this little thing in. Alright, so that's in. That's in. So the other side. She's gonna put in this little cup. Filling it up. So as you guys can see, it's clear now. I bought another one just to make sure. So everything's working properly. So now what she's doing, she's gonna tie back the, I don't know what you guys call it. I call it the nipple. <laughs> the nipple, yeah, it's tight. So do we see any leaks? I mean, this is the old one, but Touch it like the bottom right here. So look, is there any, no leaks. We Gucci, you guys. Look. You got it. Just gonna double check. It's probably gonna get dirty from the bolt. Okay, so we're good. We're good. All right, so now. Just Yeah, disconnect that. We gotta dispose of this. It's coming out. This is no good. This is how you do a caliper swap. And pads, right? Yes. So overall, bolts in the back. This right here. The brake line, you take it off. And you put the new one in. Put it in, you open this up. You put the brackets, and you put your pads, you close it. And you put back in this bolt to tighten it up. Make sure you put back your fuel line with your with your new bolt, with new washers, and then you bleed the brakes. You pop it open, keep pumping it, keep pumping it until you see it's crystal clear. No more air bubbles in there. Lock it up. Make sure you check everything, inspect, see if there's any leaks or anything, just in case if this thing came out defective, which it didn't. And voila. And you guys, this is my first time learning how to put a caliper um, obviously Moku Boy he kind of did mostly the main parts because like I just have to see you know I have to see it first They're not even picking up when they call me. The person on extension 5 is on the phone. Yes, call me back. You just call me and I'll call you back. That makes no sense. Okay? Alright? You hear me? White boy. Alright. Bye. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Konnichiwa.
Sorry, I should have checked. I have my tools being there. I don't know how to test it. It worked. 